So today I will show you how to install this particular dishwasher. The installation team has arrived at my house. As you can see, this is the outlet pipe. Let me tell you guys, before installation, you need to uh, find your water source. Now, what I have done, I have replaced my earlier tap with a two-in-one type of tap, which has got a direct threaded connection. So, here I will connect my particular dishwasher. For connecting, you will be requiring this type of adapter. This is three foot by half inch adapter which you can buy from the you can buy it from online Amazon or you can buy it from local plumbing store. I have procured it from local plumbing store. This is required because their adapter will connect to to the three foot side and your tap will be half inch. So do remember to purchase this particular. apply teflon tape so there is no leakage so this is the main connecting pipe the inlet pipe that will be connected with the machine connect the other end of the pipe inlet pipe to the dishwasher uh, procured an extension of 15 amps since this machine will be running on 15 amps so they are checking the art thing also whether the art is properly there this is the main tray all the trays are detachable and that is the upper basket where you can place the smaller utensils Now let us fill the rinsing aid, around 70 ml will be required. I used a cup to refill it. This is the detergent that will be used for washing your utensils. Fill it up. Instead you can use a tablet also, 3-in-1 tablet, there you don't need to fill 3 ingredients separately. And this is the salt dispenser, here I will fill it with salt, similarly 1 cup of salt. This is a cheaper and economical process. Now let me show you the orientation, how the utensils needs to be placed, it will be upside down. Uh, so that the water can circulate all the inner areas this is the orientation how i have placed the cup and the dishes should be placed in this manner this is this is any bowl or utensils or a saucepan that needs to be placed in this way this is the cutlery tray for spoons and handles the karai the pressure cooker and finally the filter where all the uh, leftovers will be stored and you need to clean the filter that is the filter area remove the filter like this clean the filter and reinstall in the same position so this will be my first attempt to use the dishwasher now I will fill up with my utensils first i will try to fill up the lower basket then i will fill the upper basket now let me try one by one place all the utensils uh, gradually do not put any utensil over utensil because the lower one will be cleaned and the upper one won't be clean because every utensil should touch the water force so that's the logic and you see in case of balls i am placing it upside down and always ensure that uh, none of the utensils touches with the fan blades at last i will show you how you will check it 
and most of the smaller utensils should be in the upper basket that's how I am arranging it's very flexible uh, place your uh, utensils accordingly so there is enough uh, area for the water force to work all spoons and flat utensils i have placed it in the that particular area which has been earmarked for spoon tray now i have filled up both the trays with uh, with my utensils always remember while you are placing your utensils it should be upside down okay all should be in the inverted way now let me close it now you should check that the fan is clear so that also the lower fan is rotating freely so both the fans are rotating freely and now the dishwasher is ready for cleaning now i will press the power button now then i will go for program selection there is the program selection button now press it several times so that it i will go for the eco mode so how will how will i go to the eco mode i will change the program now i have come to eco mode the time will be around 3 hours so the dishes and uh, utensils will be cleaned at night and it is ready while we wake up in the morning so this is the best and convenient way so everything is ready and i press the start button yes okay so it has started Finally all the utensils have been cleaned and let me check how much cleanliness is there. Uh, I will first check all the above crockery. Okay, so these are little bit older cups so you can't exp uh, you can see this is a new cup and how clean it has been. I have also tried with old uh, crockery also. This is the tea saucepan, absolutely clean. And also the spoons you can see. So it's working very well. And I let me check one of the plates. Okay. These are all old plates, very very old plates and I have tried with them to see whether it works with Yes, you check, this is my uh, milk saucepan, absolutely clean Very old one, but not a single dart is left over here It's worth investing in a dishwasher if you want to do all this course yourself and if you have liked this uh, video and this installation and demonstration procedure, please do subscribe my channel for more videos like this. Thank you very much and goodbye.